Crypto Tech Brothers, in this video, we're going to learn how to patch or update availability group with SQL Server failover cluster instance. In this demo, we'll be taking these eight steps right here to complete this process. However, before we get into these steps, let me show you my current architecture as far as SQL Server instance goes and uh, availability group goes. Here's my architecture. I have used this architecture in another demo, but uh, this architecture stays the same. In this architecture, I have four nodes right here, as you can see, node one, node two, node three, and node four. So node one and node two are in one location called Charlotte and uh, other uh, node node 3 node 4 are in another location which is New York City and the availability group as you can see is set up between Charlotte and New York uh, as far as uh, AG group goes uh, this Charlotte is my primary uh, site for my availability group and my secondary site is New York City that means the replica up here uh, my primary replica is in Charlotte and my secondary replica is in New York. Now let's go back to our uh, steps. It would be easy to understand now since we looked at the architecture right here. So our first step is failover SQL Server instance or instances. If you have multiple instances, you should uh, uh, failover multiple instances from your passive, in my case, New York 02, which is my secondary location. I wanted to upgrade, and that's the best practice, to up update your uh, secondary location or secondary replicas in terms of AG before you do your primary. That is must. So from New York 02 uh, to uh, New York 01, this is my passive and this is my uh, active as far as SQL Server instance goes, that is in New York. So I'll be failing, if there is any SQL Server instance running on my passive at this moment, I will be failing over and freeing, uh, I, main, um, main thing is that I wanted to free up New York 02, which is the passive, so that I can go ahead and update this node so in order to update this node, we need to move all the roles from uh, passive to active. So uh, once we did that, our step two is upgrade New York City 02, which is my passive. So once that's done, we are going to fail over SQL Server instance from New York City 01 to New York City 02. So everything that was on active in secondary um, site will go to passive since passive is already updated keep in mind in all this your availability group will go down when sql server instance uh, or sql server resources are failing from active to passive or passive to active but uh, uh, availability group should be online as soon as the sql server services come online whether it's active or uh, it's uh, uh, passive uh, so that is one check that you need to make sure that once you move the SQL Server instance from one server, which is passive or active, to another server, which is passive or active, you need to make sure that uh, your AG remains online. It will go down for that for a little, little while when uh, SQL Server instance is uh, resources are failing over, but it should come online on its own. Now keep in mind that if AG group did not come online when SQL Server came online on the whether on active or passive during this process then that means you should stop right there because that particular patch is impacting your availability group and you should go back to your testing environment and do the testing again and make sure everything works before you start doing it on production and that is also recommended before you come to production anyway but uh, just in case if your production system behaves the different you need to uh, go back to your test and make sure that uh, test architecture is exactly the same uh, as production and do the testing over there and then come back to production so I wanted to make sure that you understand that availability group will go uh, offline but it should come online on its own as soon as SQL Server instances services come online so our number four make sure all works as I said number five upgrade New York 01 once we moved from active uh, from active to passive everything is running uh, on passive so we upgrade New York 01 which is active and move back all the resources to active just uh, between the secondary location uh, our main focus up here is that uh, all the nodes that is on my secondary location or secondary replicas they should be updated first before I touch my primary location as far as availability group goes so um, up here repeat the same process for Charlotte once you're done 
you should fail over your availability group to New York, make that primary site, and make Charlotte secondary site, and then repeat the process on Charlotte, and make sure everything works fine. And then once you're done, in the end, we want to make sure that we fail over a couple times our availability group between New York and Charlotte, and make sure all works fine. And now, uh, in order to save some time, what I did was I ha I do have a patch, and uh, I'll show you that uh, what that patch does. I have uh, downloaded that patch, and I have copied that patch on all the four SQL Server, uh, all the four uh, cluster nodes, just to save some time for this video. So let's go ahead uh, and look at the patch, what it's going to do, and then start uh, in start installation of that patch on our secondary. Um, location which is New York in my case.